13, 2018 meeting of the Rotary Club of Sebastopol Summer. Well, anyway, you know. So, uh, uh, Barbara, can you uh, lead us all in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. And greet your neighbor! Hi!
down, I guess. I mean, you know, rock and roll. Nice spell your last name, right, fella? So it works. The picture and the house. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the picture work. So this is amazing. What is this battle we're looking at? Okay, so three or four weeks ago, we went to Eureka and um, we had a sleepover. I already told you that. I know you did, but without a picture. It was my fault. All right? Fine. So, right. Just to remind your memory, I went to Eureka and um, yeah, it was fun. I had a sleepover at Ian's house, in Starbucks or whatever, how you say it. And um, we made some pictures at this place. I don't know how to say it. So, yeah, we, logs, red we logs, made, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. We made pictures as logs that were colored. So these, these right, right near the town, right, Louis? They're right. They're, in, they're inside Eureka, yeah. on a side street, probably by the railhead there. And just, this is just a look at look at is that you, Madeline? That's yeah. That, that's I mean, me. you could have been injured. You could have been injured. No. No. <laughs> but it's even it gets yeah. taller. They, these logs could have fallen. Yeah. It, more. it was very scary. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Very scary, I'd say. She needs a lawyer. Catch can say. Wow. <laughs> What is, well, that's amazing. Oh, but who's that? Oh, that's amazing picture. Yeah, that's uh, I I did the makeup. Uh, nice. We had to scare people there uh, because who's, who's it was the guy? weekend before. It was it's a guy from Italy. A guy from oh. Italy. Yeah. What do you know about these guys from Italy? <laughs> We had a, a visitor from Italy. Did you yeah. meet the, the, that the what was that fella's name? <laughs> <laughs> the tennis yeah, guy. He's getting right? that policy. <laughs> yeah. Mateo. Well, you're really hard at that. Oh, Mateo. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. 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 Yes. So another Italian dude. Off the rail. Like Casanova or something. <laughs> Have you ever read the the, uh, the exploits in Casanova? It's just amazing. Uh, not yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. Get this time. <laughs> scary, scary, scary. That looks pretty. That looks like a scary crew there. I don't know about. Yeah, that. we were really. Awesome. And actually, the photograph here is a little bit dizzy to my eye. I mean, it, it's a little bit. It's it's very Halloweenish. Well, one would even say. One might even say. And here's another gathering. That's a scary smirk. That's a scary one. Yeah. This is in your Well, I didn't have sleep, so it, did, <laughs> it does look scary. So, uh, well, where was this? This is at Ian's house. Ian's house, and then this is some sort of class. Right? Oh, that's not, that's not, that's the interact one. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, the interact. Right. So, Louis, maybe you could take over. Thank you, Madeline. Yeah. So, this is a typical interact club meeting. It's two pictures. This is one side of the room. You can see how many they have. And uh, put the other picture. I did not. Okay. All right. It's just filled. We had getting between 55 and 65 wow. students wow. every two wow. weeks. Wow. Is that is amazing. Yes. That is just amazing. <laughs> You've got to be present soon in this club. Uh, yeah, I thank you very much. Uh, right now, don't you think? <laughs> well, they get people. They get people. And one of the good interesting things is. Um, that they actually have tried to get some work done. One of the projects that was uh, working on, uh, Jerry came to me, he was working on the project yeah. in, uh, in Tanzania with the school for the girls to have water, rainwater catchment, and uh, sanitary uh, facilities, and I brought it to them, and they like it. Now, I understand they, this club has not done fundraising. They're not, uh, they have it in their past doing their fundraising. The coat drives, they do many things, they raise money for food for thought by going out to the Safeways and soliciting food and, and money. So they seem to be pretty excited. They got a subcommittee they're working on to get this done. Jerry's going to come to the next meeting to sort of personalize it. And personalize it. He's the man to do that. And I, 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 I'm hoping that they can come up with a lot of ideas. I want the club to do it. It's not me. It's the club needs to come up with ideas. And if they work, great. If they don't work, they should learn from it. But that should do a great job and raise a significant fund towards the 69,000 people. 
I am sure they will too. Louie and Bob and, and, and DMR, thank you very much. And we're going to have food now. So, uh, visitors and go. guests first, please. Yes. Visitors and guests, you get the part of the board. Everybody else behind Paula. Paula is up, Paula cut. Everybody else behind Paula. Visitors and guests, Paula, not yes. Hold yourself back. Hold on. It wasn't in there, Paula. Oh, oh. 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 Oh my god. Two lines, two lines. Go ahead. Go ahead. Two lines. Two lines. Car I, do. I go right on tape right here, buddy. There he is. Oh, give me a hope. We're at Joe. Oh, you have one of two songs. Yeah. Give me a hope.
great week in May where I made like $2,000 to get a full list out. I took out somebody else who specializes and they said, no, it's just a cut in my rope. I'm like, what's going on? 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 I'm like, what's
um, the 40s and look at some of the atomic heroes that were designed back then. Captain America, the Human Torch, these have been around a long time. Um, so they, he met a fellow named uh, Jack Kirby, and the two of them designed the Fantastic Four and uh, uh, Thor, Daredevil, and uh, all those. Right? The whole and, so Spider-Man, notably Spider-Man. Right? Well, what, what, can, what Stan would do, he was a writer, so he would think up stuff. He would say, Jack, come in here, I want to talk about doing the Fantastic Four, and then Jack would go off and design them and draw them. Or he, he said, I have this idea about a, a guy with spider powers. You know, what would that look like? And Jack Kirby designed a Spider-Man. And Stan had a good sense to look at it and say, well, no, I don't like that. So he went to this other illustrator named Kirby, uh, uh, Ditko, Steve Ditko. And Ditko came up with the Spider-Man that we all know and love today. Um, as time went on, he thought, well, let's do more superhero comics since they're so popular. Uh, but he thought, for every superhero, we got to think of some sort of origin story. So he said, let's change that. Let's do X-Men and just have the superheroes born with wacky powers so they didn't have to do so much writing. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, Stan was important because in his writing, the, uh, the superheroes had, like Spider-Man was a high school student with high school anxiety and Iron Man was an alcoholic. So these superheroes had real human problems. And this was all thanks to Stan's writing. Um, at some point, Atlas became Marvel Comics, and then at some point, Marvel Comics kind of were purchased by Disney, and then Stan was just kind of the face of the comics. Now, if you think about it, the other big company is called National Comics, and they had Superman and Batman. Batman was a, a guy who, did, who was just a rich guy, who was kind of a vigilante, who was a detective. So they changed the name of the comic book company from National to DC, Detective Comics. So there were those two comic companies going. Um, anyway, that's why Stan's important. He contributed a whole lot to American culture. And he will be missed. There you go. Thank for Stan. The Homer of all time. The Iliad and the Odyssey and so forth. Anyway, Paul Harris Feldo. Fella. Rod, can we have the ceremony and the ring, please? <laughs> Where is William? The ring, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. A couple of weeks ago, I was at a district, South District uh, seminar on foundation, Rotary Foundation. And there were five presenters, and we all came in and sat at tables like, like we are right now. And the presenters moved from table to table. So I sat down at the table with Bruce, not knowing that Bruce was one of the presenters. And so Bruce did his bit, and then it was time to shift. And uh, so Bruce goes off to another table, and Helene comes and sits down. And Helene makes a presentation. And as time to shift, and they all get up, and we, we get our coffee and the second donut. And <laughs> David Mark Raymond comes oh. and sits there. I thought, well, well, what's the hell with this? <laughs> well, we did have two more presenters who weren't from this club. But the point is, this club's up to its kneecaps in foundation work. And my hope is to get us up to our belly buttons. <laughs> so belly buttons. Belly buttons. Yeah. Here, here. Don't think of that ukulele. But, uh, one piece of information out of many that came out of that seminar was that the Brokery Foundation has been named the best charity to give your money to in the world. And that means that the money goes where you want it to go and the costs are minimal. Well, some organization. Charity Navigator. Charity Navigator. We own Charity Navigator. It's a branch. A branch of the 
Okay, well, one person who recognizes that this is something worth uh, giving to is our past president, Bill Sauber, who's been off picking grapes for the last few months, so we finally got him back in here. Good so, deal. Bill, will you share with us why you uh, support the Rotary Foundation? Well, a, a big part of it, like you said, is, is it is widely recognized as one of the most efficient ways to give your money. Uh, if you look at the bar, you know, I, I, when I was at Nashville, I, I was, Volvo was very active in our community, so they encouraged all of us to participate on boards and various organizations. So I was involved with United Way and, and American Red Cross, and, and my, my history with Red Cross goes back years. But all of those, when you look at them and you look at the percentage of money that uh, gets spent on administrative things or the cost of fundraising, a lot of these organizations go out and hire a company to do their fundraising, and the company takes like 30 or 40 percent. So the amount that you're actually getting to go to what you want to go to is not very efficient, whereas volunteer organization. We don't have a lot of fundraising stuff at uh, uh, cost. And we, we just donate directly and that money goes to Tanzania to building drill schools and, and water projects and micro loan projects which just jumpstart small economies with without a whole lot of government intervention. It's just a very, very efficient way to make this world a better place. And uh, as much as I still have a place in my heart for Red Cross and, and United Way, and they, they do a lot of good, uh, the, the bulk of my donations are now going to um, well, the American Cancer Society. I've lost several, my mom and my sister share cancer. You know, I used, used to do those walkathons and all that kind of stuff. You look at the American Cancer Society, the CEO is getting a million bucks a year. I'm sorry, that just galls me to, to spend all that time out there raising money and, you know, paying for a, a high salary CEO. We don't find that in, in the Rotary Foundation. It goes to where we want it to go. So, anyway, that's it. Thank you, Bill. So, I'm going to ask uh, David. Yeah, David. Congratulations, sir. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll leave this old pin in there and we'll just start over here on a new pin. You can have great tight lines. I got a lot of kids. I just put this over here. Yeah, yeah. Some people do things like that. Oh, that's a wonderful thing you've done. That's Bill Wheeler up there. Okay, on your feet. No. So birthdays and anniversaries are running out of time, but we did want to run through a few. Big Jim, Big Jim. Uh, Linda, you guys went fishing, right? Tell us a little bit about your fishing expedition. We gotta move well, here, but yes. His birthday is tomorrow. He said you could recognize him next week, he'll be here. Oh, oh um, that will cost extra money. <laughs> well, I surprised him with a fly fishing rod. Oh. And I got to Did you guys get out on the river? Yeah, we were on the Trinity River. All right. So we were up there 10 days. We escaped all the smoke. It was glorious. The fall color was magnificent. So, yeah, since birthday month, and uh, we're celebrating it in style. Did you do the guide thing? No, we didn't. We met a nice fellow at the fly shop. Um, we're going to book his services next yeah. time, but we practiced out in the yard. We learned you sweep the ceiling. <laughs> so uh, but it, it was just, it's, it's very beautiful up there. You know, they had fires too. We drove through Whiskey Town to get there. Uh, and it was a little scary, you know, kind of planning. Well, what if, you know, you just think of those things now. You know, like, uh, Great little town, Lewiston, and uh, we 
you go there two, two times a year, and you go in there for 20 years, and uh, you retire there. You know, now Linda, I am, my eyes are really bad, but I see that there's a recognition uh, fine that I might levy. What, I, I think you deserve to be recognized as our membership chair, as the partner of Big Jim, and it will be a, a, just a modest sort of recognition fee of 15 bucks. Oh. I'm not sure. Dan, dear Dan, we're Dan. But we're Dan. Larry, Larry, birthday. Happy birthday to Larry. Bill, summer, times 24, member anniversary. Paul Harris, dude, etc., etc. You've already spoken about Rotary, so. <laughs> Joe, wedding anniversary. Patty, 11 17. Yeah. What are you going to do? That's uh, Saturday. We're, we're heading down to San Diego to spend the weekend at Legoland with the grandkids. There is such a thing as Legoland. There is. There is. Up, really yeah. back and forth. They have a Lego wall now. They're, they're starting to build it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, here Joe, have a good time. Len, I, I don't know your partner's name. Len, are you? Uh, Jane. It's, The it's like jam with a soft j jam. Oh, very very nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay. No hard. Well, have a great time. Thank you. Sunday. See you in the All right, all right. Good, 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 good. You can give that to uh, uh, Louis. Uh, Louis, Marianne, 1118. Good job, Louis. Right on. Yes, yes. So you're going to have fun and so forth and so on. I, we might. <laughs> we have no, we're thinking about what should we do, and I think we're, we're going to end up in Flamingo Brunch. Oh, that's something exciting. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds fun. Okay, so uh, now Spence, uh, the fireside chat is getting uh, moved, apparently, right, Linda? We're thinking January when more newbies can come. Right, so uh, November 19th is our board meeting, the 21 to open house. That's next Wednesday uh, with John and... Uh, First Friday, December 7th, Scott's Place, December 12th, General Club Assembly, December 25th, our holiday dinner, and Kathy, and March 23rd, Rights of Spring. And how about a word, Linda, about open house? Um, quickly, I've got one RSVP, and I need to let our caterer know how many extra people are coming. So I'm going to pass this around. If you already have a guest coming, please write your name and their name. And I hope you each bring at least one person and email me by Friday if you have a guest coming so we can get a head count. So I'm going to start over here and um, it's going to be great. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, Jim. Jim's got a spot. The Peace Bowl has been a year-long process. It's ready. It's going to be planted on Sunday, 945 in front of Screaming Mimi's. Please come if you would like to honor peace in our town. And my wife will be doing a simple peace ceremony and it's going to be beautiful thanks to pj for going in cleaning up the garden and making sure it's nice and tidy thank you and paula has been heading up that effort for quite a while so i uh, brian I, I you had wanted to say something last week and we're running out of time again this week so next week next week brian uh, and in particular, fire relief, okay, you guys, serious and other serious, I mean, way serious. The Paradise Rotary Foundation, I will send this out so you guys can think what we can do with the club. I got this email from Barbara Spangler, and there's some other, another uh, address here for donating, but obviously it's a huge, a huge catastrophe and uh, tragedy. Un unrolling. Uh, so Rotaract, we're going to have uh, Monica come up and talk about Rotaract, but I would ask us as a club to think about how we can participate and get involved with our Rotary Club as a sponsor, advisor, mentor, su uh, providing support in any way. And I know Monica will talk about this some. Um, and you're invited to everything that we do, including our Christmas dinner and everything that we do. So you're most welcome. And uh, partner uh, with us and with Rotaract and so forth. So, um, Michael, are you going to do a, a, an announcement of Monica or perhaps help me uh, transition to her PowerPoint? 
So, Mike, as our speaker from the Rotaract Club, uh, I'm going to defer to Linton. Oh, Linton, okay, right, sorry. Good morning. This is Monica Morales and Nelsie Mejia. And they're both going to they come from SSU. She's stuck in her chair. <laughs> Would you like to start with the DVD if it works? We've got a DVD here, and we're going to test it, and you can wait for the web to sit in the Okay. So, um, yeah, Michael, were, were you, I, I'm just all thumbs about this, the DVD stuff, so. Um, you want to show the DVD right now? This, this will move your PowerPoint, okay? Backward and forward, and, and maybe Michael can help you with this. Okay, we have a whole coterie of, of, of technological uh, supporters here. Okay, good morning. My name is Monica Morales, and I am the Sonoma State University Road Rack President. And Nestle will come up towards the end. Um, so a little bit of introduction about myself. Um, I am from Napa, so I'm a Napanian, I believe. Um, and I went to Napa High. I graduated there in 2014. I am a child from an uh, immigrant parent, so they came from Mexico, specifically Michoacan. Um, what else? I forgot what I wrote. Okay. So but, um, I am the eldest of two younger siblings, and they're both brothers, so they're very annoying. Um, also, <laughs> so what am I studying? What do I want to do? So. I'm studying a, a, a Bachelor's of Science in Biology, and I have a minor in Chemistry and Early Childhood Studies. I aspire to be a physician in a couple of years, hopefully soon. <laughs> um, and so how did I get involved with Rotaract? So I was, in, I was printing for free in this office, because I'm very poor and I cannot afford to print like 20 pages per day. So I went to this office that provides the resources of free printing, and there was a flyer that said, do you want to, do you want to help in third world countries? And do you want to be involved in this, this, and that? And I was like, heck yeah, sign me up. So I like wrote down the, the a meeting time, and I went to the Rotaract meeting. And ever since 2016, I have been like fully immersed and captivated into Rotaract, but also telemedicine, which Michael Cook is the main person. And it has just been a really rewarding experience, and I will further go into that in my presentation. So how has it been impactful? So it, it has helped me build relationships with doctors like Dr. Good and Dr. Sablak. So Dr. Sablak is a doctor from India that I met when I went in 2017 to go help with the National Immunization Day. And it was a very rewarding experience. And ever since then, I have been able to contact him and ask him simple questions as like, what does this condition do to your immune system and basic things? And he has just been very helpful. And so has been Dr. Good. And um, so from Rotaract, I have been able to not, because before I have loved to help people, but I, I, I always dwelled on the problem and never really like was proactive toward the solution. And having this Rotaractor like lens, I have been able to not just dwell on the like what's going on, but actually be proactive, kind of like what the member said before. Like be able to be like, okay, so this is going on, what can I do? Well, who, who, who can I contact from these journey clubs? Who will be able to help me? And what change can I myself in the road around to do? So, yeah. And um, it has been able to create a reliable connection as like letters of, rec letters of recommendation, which, is, which are very important. And just be able to have someone to talk to, to have like simple advice. Like when I'm cooking, I call Mary and I'd be like, yo, how long do I need to leave this like boiling? Because I honestly don't know how to cook. So simple things like that. Like I can just call the Rotar uh, Rotarians to help me out. And also it has given me opportunities to network. So I have been able to go to the Big West Conference this uh, this beginning of the semester, which is with only Rotor Actors. And we talk about like how to stay members and um, just be able to have this network of a community and come together and just see like the great things that we are doing uh, here in Northern California at the conference. And honestly, <laughs> ever since I started in 2016 and since I met Mary and Michael and so many other Rotarians, 
I, I honestly can tell you that when I get older, in a couple of years, <laughs> which is soon, um, I, I want to, like, I feel like I'm marked to be a Rotarian. I know that once I'm whatever age it is to be 28 or whatever, like, the first thing I'm going to do is sign up and be like, yo, I'm a Rotarian. Like, I'm dedicated to this. I'm willing to help. Yeah. Yeah, so. So I'm just very excited and it's just been very rewarding and I always tell my parents about Rotary because I remember the first time I was exposed to Rotary was in high school. Um, it was my senior year. So at Napa High they do this thing with this, uh, the Sunrise Napa Club and they give like scholarships each month to like students that are being recognized for what they're doing in the community and I was one of them for I believe uh, September or something. And I, I went to this breakfast, I was like, wow, they had a nice breakfast, like, I was like, this is nice, like, people are so nice and so welcoming, so that's how I got introduced to, to Rotary. And, so, I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. Um, so, how many Rotary clubs do you guys think there are in the world? More. Wow. Wow. 8,000. More. 12. 17,000. Okay, that's a little too high. <laughs> It's more close to 11,000. And how many active voter actors do you guys think there are in the world? 100,000. More than 100,000. Okay, you're close. It's 250,000. Yeah. And do you guys know how many countries have voter act clubs? You're so close. Wow, it's good. Um, it's 184, yes. So we are very active and I. And I hope that the numbers continue to grow. So, yeah, I'm excited. And, uh, it won't go. Oh, oh. Okay, so what have we been doing at the Sea World Rights? It might seem like we haven't been doing anything, but we have. Trust me, I will go into detail of what we have been doing. Um, if this thing will go. Oh, no. <coughs> I don't know how to do this. Yeah, there Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, interesting. Oh wait, no wait, it went all the way to the end. How do we get that? Here. 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 I can do it without it. It just be a lot of me talking. Why don't you talk? Awesome. So one of the things that we have been doing is um, okay. So uh, last semester, one of our Rotaract members came up with an idea of doing a, a school backpack and. Uh, school backpack and school supplies fundraiser. So we had limited time, about three months, to collect so many things, and I went crazy because I was like, ah, how am I going to collect everything? And um, but we were very successful through donations and through the help of Rotarians. So we collected 75 backpacks. We collected 150 folders. We collected a bunch of highlighters, pens. You name it, anything. And so pretty much all the donations went to Elsie Allen High School in Santa Rosa. And all the donations went to migrant ed students who are low income who, and whose parents uh, can't afford to buy, even buy them a backpack. So on this slide, there's a picture of this girl named Myra. And she is a junior in high school. And she aspires to go into veterinary medicine. And she said, um, just something that she said that really sparked me was, um, Awesome. That that sparked me was she said, I am thankful that there are still people out there who help people like me. And so when she told me that I was like, wow, I'm like, wow, like that really like made me see like the difference that Rotaract is making slowly but surely in our community. 
it, it just made me realize, you know, like, I want to make this an annual thing, and I want to continue doing this for this specific program. So we are making it an annual thing, and next year we are going to be next year we are going to be um, next year we are going to be uh, doing the same thing, uh, giving out the school supplies and the backpacks to this high school in Santa Rosa. So if you guys would like to help out with donations, we would greatly appreciate them. And if not, it's okay. You can come and like help us distribute them if you guys would like to and meet these students. And it was about 70 students who received the donations. And one of the other things that we have been doing is... Okay, I remember. There were tie blankets. <laughs> so we're making tie blankets for uh, the women's shelter, specifically the, the living room in Santa Rosa. So this is for women who have been through domestic violence. And so we're doing these mini service projects during the meetings and we're interacting with one another and making these blankets. And our goal is to make 30 blankets and to donate them next semester to this women's shelter. And also another thing that we are doing is we're making get well cards for the children's hospital in Oakland. Yeah, children's hospital in Oakland. And for the picture that I added on the slide, it was mainly the guys, because we have a huge group of men this uh, semester. And it was um, these guys that were doing the get, the get well cards, and theirs actually looked much better than the girls. I was very surprised. So that's why I included that. And... Yeah, we can just get those things. It's a good picture. We've got a brain trust up there. Okay. <laughs> Where's it freeze? <laughs> and so we volunteered at uh, Day of the Dead, which was in Santa Rosa, the Dia de los Muertos. And that is a uh, Mexican and Latin American uh, cultural event. And so me, Nelsie, and another member went and sold calendars. It wasn't such a big task, but we sold a couple of calendars. It was rough to sell it to people because they just showed up for the food, but they didn't want to buy calendars. I was like, damn. <laughs> um, so we tried our best, and it was just a great opportunity for us to get involved with the community and to just be there for individuals. And it was lovely because it, if you're familiar with the cultural event, they do an altar for the dead. And what they do is they put, like, <coughs> for example, if it was your mom, like, what she enjoyed to eat, like, her favorite hobby, and, like, to, and, like things like that to just, like, remember her memory. So it was very, it was very, um, it was very emotional in a sense, just because it's part of my culture and like, I was able to see these people come and like pay respect to their, um, their, their loved ones. And it was a very lovely event. Also, we have been... I'm trying to think off the top of my head with like... Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, we... What else is there? Uh, could you get to the next one? Oh yeah, we went to Light the Night. That is, um, so we volunteered at Light the Night in September, I believe, and that is for the uh, Lymphoma and Leukemia so uh, Society. And what we did is we went and helped out on distribute shirts, give uh, the walkers water, do whatever they wanted us to do. And, and we actually did walk with, uh, with the walkers, and it was just a very lovely event because the money will go into uh, fighting, uh, to the research of uh, the the blood cancer. So it was just a lovely event and it was very powerful as well. And what else? There's something else. I think I can play the video now because I forgot the other thing. But if I remember, I will let you know. Oh yeah, there we go. We have new and motivated, dedicated members. Yes. Got, yeah, that's really exciting. So we have about Ten new members this semester, and they are always coming to the meetings, and they're active, and they're coming to volunteer. And actually, this is when Nelson comes up and talks about her experience so far in Rotaract. So you can come. Yeah, thank you. Hello, my name is Nelson Mejia. Um, I'm a, a little bit about me is I'm a third year at Sonoma State. This is the first semester that I've joined Rotaract. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't learn about it my freshman year just because I've been having so much fun interacting with like not only people at my school but the community. I'm originally from LA so 
<laughs> this is a whole new different area for me. And um, I always felt like I couldn't really connect to people just because I was from a different place. But in this club, I made a lot of new friends, I made a lot of new connections, and I just feel more a part of the community, and it's a lot of fun. I'm, uh, I managed to uh, become the social media chair and also the fundraising chair. So. Wow. <laughs> um, I feel as though I'm really dedicated to the club just because I really love it and I really want to help uh, people. So I, I just, um, I really enjoy being here. Um, we have, we have a, our first fundraiser, one of our fundraisers coming up uh, December 2nd. We are going to have a bake sale at Oliver's Market uh, from 1 to 4 p.m. Is that in Katani? Yes, in Katani. Um, we hope to see you there to, to show support or, you know, donate. That would be nice too. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun because we're gonna we're gonna be baking together. So I feel like it will also help us bond more with each other. So yeah, that would be a lot of fun. So where are the donations gonna go to? Oh, the do <laughs> half of the donations are going to uh, polio, uh -huh. and then the other half. Oh, the backpack. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And she was, the reason why I said like I bought her right, right after the dedicated motivated one is because she woke up early and she made sure that I was awake. <laughs> morning time is not really my thing and I stayed up until like 2 a.m. studying for my organic chemistry test. So I was like, thank God she was willing to come and wake up early and call me and make sure I was awake. <laughs> and um, also one of the upcoming events is the Rotary International and we want to send about five members and we're going to start fundraising the end, the beginning of next semester so we will let you guys know about fundraisers. That would be in Hamburg, right? Uh, yes, so we are excited and hopefully you guys come and support the fundraisers and I'm going to show you this yeah. video of what Rotaract did in India. Yes. To be part of Rotary is to be making an impact in the world. It's a very gratifying experience. When I wake up, it just makes me feel proud of what I'm doing. Honestly, I feel like I'm a part of a big extended family. Uh, a big part of Rotaract and Rotary as a whole, I think it's just an indescribable feeling. So that the people were going to be quiet. Thought that the traffic was going to be bad. And it wasn't going to be as loud as it was. But I was proven wrong. They treat you like royalty there. And the people were amazingly hospitable. The culture is just rich with history. They hit all of my five senses. From music, from food, the, the spices of the food is like wow. They held uh, receptions for us, they held rallies, the clothes, the food we ate, the different monuments we visited. It's just so enriched in history. The uh, hospitality of everyone there. It was just absolutely amazing and super cool. <laughs> historic sites. History is something that's very important to them. The uh, palaces and with all the um, uh, universities that they had. And it's really rewarding seeing how they keep their culture alive. 
And I remember giving them two drops in their mouths and coloring their pinkies to know that they they received immunizations. There's one instance that I remember of carrying this little baby. She was like two months and the parents were like running and they were bringing the baby. We were about to leave and they're like, can you give some drops? And honestly, once like dropping those, those uh, two drops in the baby's mouth, I didn't really realize how you're helping these children, you know, like prevent a paralysis, which is something that could be critical for children's lives. Now I'm much more involved in uh, special medicine. What I also love about Rotary and Rotary Act is that we are making tangible change. We are on the ground in our community making a difference. Um, and it's a difference that you can see and it's a difference that you can see. I, it makes me really proud to know that I'm part of an organization that is full of leaders throughout the world that, is, that are working towards bettering their communities. How did this trip impact me? I would say it made me realize that um, being a doctor is what I want to do and that I want to serve the third world countries, especially the underrepresented ones across the world. To immunize kids um, and to help India stay polio free was an experience I will never forget. Immunizing kids in India has definitely been the most rewarding and amazing experience of my life. Don't think about it, just do it. It's something that you are going to never regret, and you have to do it at least. Join it, try it, you know, put your little toy in it for a bit, and then you're going to never want to get out of it. It's an amazing opportunity. Amazing, and I just want to say thank you for all your support, and we're excited to continue giving back to our communities internationally and here at Sonoma State, around Sonoma County, and thank you for Linton for being our advisor and always coming on Mondays with pizza and being so happy to be there. And we just appreciate, all, yeah, we just appreciate all your support, and yeah, thank you. Stay in touch in terms of, of, of our various events, your events and our events. You're always welcome, and thanks again. I do have a, a little task for you. Never mind. Marty needs to get a second picture. If you could be so kind as to... I know Marty, he's looking at his ticket there very closely. Could you pull a ticket and read the number to the... Uh, yeah. It's two, nine, eight. Two, nine, eight. Oh, rich get richer. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, he wins like three out of yeah. seven times. Yeah, I, I, what about this? What about it, Mr. President? I don't know. <laughs> Bruce. Perfect proxy. Oh, ho. I do have a gift for you, Monica. I know. I thought Bruce right. I thought I, I don't know, there's the fix is in. The fix is in. Okay. 
Ace of Clubs wins you your heart's desire. Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Oh, too bad. Now, now, Terry, were you? Uh, well, I don't know. Does that mean that I am the prize? Oh, you? Yes, you are the prize for. Helene, <laughs> <laughs> you what? Congratulations. <laughs> You won Terry, and I think we have <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a joke from Meister Scott. Scott, do we have a joke from Meister Scott? Uh, microphone, microphone. Give me that mic. You didn't have the 18 today. It wasn't as good. Ah, very good. Okay. <laughs> this is a golfing joke, Michael. Okay. Jim, you tell me if this ring is true, okay? Apparently there were these, these two golfers, and they're out on the links, and they're playing, and this one guy, he's ready to take his chip shot, and he's lining up, and then on the road right outside the golf course, this funeral procession goes by. He stops his game, he takes off his hat, and he bows his head as they go by. And then he puts his hat back on, he gets ready to do his chip shot, and the other guy says, Th that was the kindest, most beautiful thing I've ever seen anybody do. And he says, oh, well, yeah, well, we were married 35 years. Thank <laughs> 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 All right, so take us over here. Happy trails to you till we 